New at 10, a judge has denied a motion from the city of Phoenix to dismiss a lawsuit over condition in the city's largest homeless encampment known as the zone. Property owners claim the city just isn't doing enough to keep the neighborhood clean and safe. Tonight, a local artist is using his talents to paint a picture of what homelessness downtown is really like. Team 12's Jade Cunningham has more on his work and what he hopes to inspire. From the drugs and late night fights. That's two guys named Mark and they got in some embroilment over a cigarette lighter. To the personal victories. It was the first key he'd ever gotten. He finally got an apartment, went through the whole process. It took a year. Each one of Joel Copeland's pieces tells a story. So this is my friend Rosie, Rosie McFadden. She came and sat several times, actually. Stories about things he sees firsthand. Well, it's an eye-opener to be down here, that's for sure. In 2018, Copeland moved near West Jefferson Street and South 11th Avenue. He was instantly drawn to his surroundings. The whole milieu of what's going on down here was just so different and so fascinating that I just couldn't help but do it. I, I've got drawers of drawings. And he began putting the images of what's now known as the zone to canvas. I've learned about humanity, that's for sure. I've learned a lot about how people interact with each other. His paintings capture pain, sadness, in some cases a smile. There's compassion and there's incompassion. But Copeland's hope is that his work will evoke emotion. Reality is, is you know, it's, it's intense. And inspire change. There's an intensity about the paintings that I wanted to, to pick too because there's an intensity about the situation here. They're not for just above the couch. They're to, to raise awareness so that we can do something about it. And it was hot and she was sweating and she was sitting out in front of the building. And as he continues his work. People come and look at them and, and, and say that there's, you know, dignity and humanity and, and all that in, in paintings of people that are, you know, downtrodden. He's hopeful change will one day come and his muses will get the help they need. Jay Cunningham, 12 News. Jade, thanks.